Russia's northern capital is right now welcoming business magnets uh, with a buzz of expected deals worth hundreds of millions of dollars in the air. Smart deals were not long coming indeed. We can reveal Russian energy minister uh, Major Gazprom has already announced it's agreed with uh, European firms to build a new gas pipeline direct from Russia to the EU under the Baltic. Artis Murgazdiev has more about the big money contract then that's just been revealed really is an international project. You have Royal Dutch Shell, uh, a German uh, utilities company, E.ON, OMV, an Austrian oil major, and Russia's Gazprom, uh, a really international venture to lay this new gas uh, pipeline from Russia under the Baltic Sea uh, to Germany. According to the agreement, uh, from what we know, Gazprom will own no less than half the shares in this new project. Well, you know, we've uh, been uh, hearing applause clapping as uh, deals have been signed left and right here, mostly at uh, energy firms' stalls dotted uh, around here at the venue. But also today, we're, we're hoping to see uh, a deal between BP and uh, Russian uh, oil giant Rosneft uh, for BP, the British oil company, to buy in uh, to a Russian gas field. That's going to be around 700 million euros. Uh, there are other deals as well uh, that will take place today, uh, according to the plan. But there will also be a surprise guest, a very surprising guest, the uh, Saudi uh, defense minister, third in line for the crown. He's uh, come uh, on an unannounced, really, visit to St. Petersburg. There's hardly any warning uh, for some tete-a-tete -tete, you know, time with Vladimir Putin. We don't know exactly what, what it is they'll be talking about, but also happening today.